Hey guys, welcome to my video. Uh, this might look kind of like one of my other videos, but I can assure you it's quite different. So, this is one of those um, no magnet traction motors you've seen in previous videos. If you haven't seen it, I'd suggest looking back at some of the older videos. So, we have this motor, it's just gear driven to a water pump, moves the water, and then over here we have a 12 volt battery into a watt meter. And we have a capacitor just to make it easier on the watt meter to where things aren't going up and down so much. And then that comes through into a voltage converter. And that converts to 12 to 24. And then it comes through the motor, the red lead. And then out of the motor, the black lead, and then goes into the capacitor again. And then into the second battery. And then on this side of the motor, we have the output. This is the, we have two different outputs on this motor. Uh, this is primary output, this is secondary, so this is actually the lower coil down here, so um, if you were to use this primary circuit output to do this, you would make a direct short. Um, so that's why it's nice to have some of these motors with the isolated output. So the output comes out of here through this little pulsar, and then into here, into the capacitor, and then into the battery as well. So if you take a look. Then we got the amp meter and then a voltmeter. So this voltage 12.12, .12, so we're probably around 70-80% down on the 12 volt battery. And um, keep in mind that 12.12 as the video progresses. Uh, the main battery is sitting at 13.6. And what we're going to do is just give this thing a little flip and um, you guys can see what happens. So this little 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 motor is running this pump slow, but but still pumping water. It's still a load. The motor needs to do something. So it's a perfect little test for it. Um, right now we're using uh, one and three quarter to two amps, um, 25 to 28 watts, and then this is what's going into the second battery now. We have a little over an amp from the coming from the motor itself, and then we have a little pulse, half amp to an amp pulse coming out of the output at every couple seconds. And um, as you can see, the voltage is going up quite quickly for a little um, 20 watt motor. So this motor is only using you know, 24 to 29. It kind of comes up and down as as it's pulsing real slow. But look at the voltage climbing. Still pumping water. So the interesting thing about today, um, I did a, some experiments earlier. This 12 volt battery is a 12 amp hour. Um, it actually took me a good part of half the day to drain the battery down for this video. Because the battery is so full that this motor actually stopped running. Because what happens is as the power comes through here, through the motor and into the second battery, um, the motor will only run if there's space for the battery. So once this battery gets up to 13 and a half, 14 volts, the motor will stop. So when I did the experiment, um, I ran it till it stopped basically, and then I switched batteries and ran it pretty much until it stopped again, but this battery is much bigger in the back. That was 13.5, and this one was uh, 12 volts flat, but it was still still running. Got down to, I think, 11, 11.6, 11 and I just ran out of time. So here we are, I switched it back, and um, yeah, for 20 watts going in that battery, it charges pretty darn fast. It's a 12 amp hour battery. We're using 20. 24 to 30 watts, somewhere around there. Pumping water. And we have output from this motor pulsing about every couple seconds or so.
So tell me what you guys think. Um, leave the comments below. Thanks for watching my video.